After last week's piece of shit show, I'm was considering not doing these shows anymore, not doing these podcasts anymore, but I've decided to stick with it and I'm here to review the May 15, 2017 edition of Monday Night Raw. And the show so before we get to the show, I, there's a huge breaking news that broke uh, earlier in the day. And it is significant, very significant news and will probably change what we see in the and the whole storylines we were going to see, Braun Strowman, his injury, as I talked about last week, is a lot worse than expected. At first it was four to eight weeks, now it's about six months. They say he shattered his elbow, it's probably a tear in there, he probably like tore something right off the bone. Um, it's six months, it is a devastating injury for Braun Strowman, and it really sucks. Uh, this guy was the best thing on Raw. For the last couple months... At least the last month and a half, he has been the best part of Raw ever since he killed Roman Reigns. It was awesome. They put Big Show through the the ring. He killed Kalisto. This guy was on so much momentum. We were going to see Brock and Braun probably a great balls of fire. He's out for six months now, and I'm afraid Vince McMahon is going to think, oh, he's injury prone. We have, we have to put Big Dog over him. We, you know, Big Dog doesn't get hurt. That's what I'm afraid that's going to happen. Um, I don't think he would have taken Roman Reigns' spot, but he had a lot of momentum. So uh, that that just that sucks really bad. I feel really bad for Braun there. Um, so the show. Kurt Angle comes out and announces a fatal five way for Extreme Rules. And it's going to be a number one contender. I think they'll probably have the winner of Fate Brock at Great Balls of Fire. Uh, so we have Roman Reigns, Finn Balor, Seth Rollins, Bray Wyatt, and uh, Samoa Joe. And it's an Extreme Rules five-way match, so it's a number one contender. That match is probably going to be a fantastic match. I have no doubt. I think that's going to be a great, great match. And I'm actually looking forward to seeing them tear the host down in that match. So there's something to look forward to with that. Um, yeah, that's cool. Uh, I'll admit there, even though I'm not too hyped up for the rest, uh, you know, I'm still kind of down after hearing Bro Braun, but, uh, you know, that, that's cool. Um, I think Balor or Rollins takes that. So, uh, when Kurt Angle comes out, Roman Reigns comes out, booed out of the building, acts like a complete heel. This is such like John Cena. John Cena has done like a billion promos when he acted heel, teased the heel turn, and nothing happened. This has been done a million times. Same thing with Roman Reigns. He's never turning heel. He comes out. Uh, fans hate him. Hate him with a passion. Then, uh, Finn Balor interrupts him. Balor's very over here. Fans are really into Balor. Uh, then, you know, he's interrupted by Joe. Uh, and then, um, Bray comes out. And then, uh, Rollins comes out. Everyone here was well liked. They, I mean, Bray got a mixed reaction, but Joe got a decent reaction. Rollins got a decent reaction. But, uh, Reigns was just absolutely hated. And Balor was the most over. Um, yeah, so, Fatal Five Way, and then they have a huge brawl, uh, chaos, so we're hearing they're doing individual matches later in the night, so, um, that's fine, and, uh, I'm, I'm, I'm good with that match, just unfortunate to hear about Braun. Then we get a match with Jeff Hardy and, uh, Sheamus, don't really care about this, we've seen these guys match for a million times, feels like they're, like, they've had a million meetings now, uh, man, who cares anymore, and, uh, I mean, fuck you, Anthem, fuck you, TNA, for not, for fucking the fans over, just let them use the fucking broken gimmick, for fuck's sakes, uh, it just sucks, I mean, whatever, I mean, you're just stuck with the Hardys from 2001 when we want the broken, the leash in Hardys, uh, it sucks, the match, uh, Jeff Hardy won, so I'm I'm absolutely positive certain that his round champs for winning the belt at Extreme Rules in a few weeks. That seems fairly obvious. Uh, so they had Sasha Banks come out. She faced Alicia Fox in a rematch from last week. They had the whole shoulder dispute, the shoulder above the mat. Alicia Fox won, which was a bit of a surprise. Which actually think of what it's probably not. It's just something for Sasha Banks to do, something to keep her, I guess, occupied before she faces Bailey or Alexa. So I think we're getting Sasha Banks and Alicia Fox at Extreme Rules. Who cares? No one cares. I mean, yeah. Uh. That's it just, that's they're just trying to get Sasha or something to do. I mean, you just want to keep her off TV if you're just going to have her face uh, Bailey or Alexa. I mean, you just need to be on TV. Uh, yeah, I mean, that match sucked. <laughs> that was a shitty match. So then we have next match is Intercon title, Ambrose and Miz. And I'm sure Miz is probably going to win, which is going to upset everyone, unless they're just going to, maybe they do a disputed finish and then they have rematch at Extreme Rules. 
Miz and Ambrose was one of the worst, uh, I mean, least interesting feuds in the company right now, but they actually had a good match. Uh, ended the disqualification, so I suppose we got a no DQ match at Extreme Rules, maybe an Extreme Rules match. I don't know. Falls Clan or something. We're going to see the rematch at Extreme Rules. I thought it could end like this. I actually thought Miz might win tonight, but uh, we're going to get the match at Extreme Rules. Now we have Alexa Bliss in the ring. Uh, Alexa's the cut, cut a very good promo. Uh, she called them all sweat glands of America, New York, New Jersey. It was pretty funny. Uh, she's really, really good on the mic. Um, yeah, the only thing I didn't like was they had to shout out with that. They had to call, Ella Alexa had to call that Miss USA patch, I think, ugh, whatever. That kind of burned it down. But other than that, she was doing really, really well. Now Bailey comes out and interrupts her, and I'm assuming Nia's going to beat up Bailey. Uh, they had Bailey, uh, you know, flip out Alexa. She shoved her down. Then Alexa attacked, hit Bailey through the ropes, hung her up on the ropes, and used a kendo stick and whacked her in the back. It looked pretty good. Uh, at first I saw it, it looked like she hit her in the back of the head, but she got her in the back. Uh, it looked good. Make Alexa look strong. Made Bailey look like a little bitch, but, man, whatever. Um, so it's an extreme rules match or a kendo stick match or a street fight, whatever. Uh, another match for extreme rules. That's official now. No Nia, thankfully. So hopefully they don't have to have Nia. I get involved, so I'm not a big knife fan. Now, cruiserweight match, so that means who gives a fuck? So uh, they, so they had Miz uh, confront Kurt Angle in the back, and now they made a match at Extreme Rules, which uh, and on a show called Extreme Rules, if Dean Ambrose gets himself disqualified, he loses the IC belt. What a stupid stipulation for a show called Extreme Rules. Uh, so that's official. He had Drifter come in. Okay, can they just release this guy? This guy's not going to be anything. Just release him. Now it's Cruiser Raids, so yeah. This is the bathroom break of the show. So I had to check out for a few minutes. Uh, Raw, the Cruiser Raids are boring me to that. I watched a basketball game. When I put it back on, I see Kurt Angle with uh, Bailey in the back. So it's a candlestick on a pole match at Extreme Rules. That's bullshit. Just do the Extreme Rules match or a street fight. That's a horrible game. That match is probably going to suck now. So not too high on that. So they they showed a recap video of what happened to Braun, and they tried to explain they got hurt during the match. Roman Reigns is out next, and I I don't give a shit about this guy. I wish this guy would just disappear. I don't ever wish injury on a guy, but I just really wish this guy would just disappear. Never come back again. Like, just go away. I hate this motherfucker, man. He ruins the whole show for me. I don't want to watch it anymore. Uh, I might as just watch the basketball games. You know, I am bored to death. Of all. I am very, very bored. I just do not like this show. I don't find anything interesting. Nothing's catching my eye. I am bored to death. This show makes me want to fall asleep. And I've fallen asleep during Raw the last couple of weeks. I always fall asleep during Raw. I can't stay awake during the show anymore. I'd, I'm so bored by the show. I just fall asleep during the show. It happens nearly all the time to me, and I just there's nothing on the show that makes me interesting, so I don't give a shit about this match in the least. Who fucking cares? Roman Reigns beat Finn Balor. Dan Reigns went with a spear. Fuck this, I'm out. I don't want to watch Rest of Raw. Um, yeah, I'll recap whatever happens, but whatever happens from here, I am not watching anymore fuck this motherfucker i can't stand this fucking guy i genuinely hope he gets hurt i mean i don't want him to you know get in the ring i'm talking i hope he just blows his knee out or something i fucking can't stand this motherfucker anymore i am done i cannot watch this fucking show anymore with this motherfucker on he's not gonna even win at extreme rules just so you know he's gonna win the belt against brock this whole year is gonna be miserable it's gonna be the roman reigns coronation ceremony 4.0 he's gonna fucking probably beat john Cena at SummerSlam. he'll win the royal rumble and then he'll fucking beat brock at wrestlemania it's exactly what's gonna fucking happen i am so fucking sick of this guy fuck this this guy, I, I I hope he gets hurt. I'm not like, man, I don't give a fuck what anyone says anymore. Fuck this guy. I am out for tonight. Uh, I'm not watching the show anymore. I'll recap what happened. I'll give my thoughts on it. Uh, so this video's not over, but I am done watching right now. I'm watching the basketball game. Fuck Roman Reigns. Fuck this motherfucker. So uh, I read online, Goldust has turned on our truth Who cares if these guys have anything better to do? And this can go just, just retire, man. You know, it's time to hang it up. I mean, same thing with Archer. He's old, too. Who cares? So, Seth Rollins and, and uh, Bray Wyatt's the main event. Don't care at all about that match. Just don't care who wins, what happens. Um, if anything significant happens, I'll talk about it on the SmackDown re- review. So, uh, this is it. And a uh, boring episode of Raw. I had to tune out. So, I'm sorry about that. But, uh, 
yeah, this is going to keep happening. If Raw is so and I was going to have to throw in the towel. I have to throw in the towel here at 10 after Raiders beat Balor around 10.15. That's how long it lasted. Hopefully next week it lasts a bit longer.